Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you that this year's WrestleMania will break an official attendance record. One, Who will survive? Two, so here we go, we've got it folks. After weeks of uncertainty, the WWE has put out a statement with regards to next month's WrestleMania, a half day after my video about how they could postpone the whole thing, so thanks for that. Anyway, WrestleMania will take place on April 5th, 2020. No delays. However, it will be moved from Tampa Bay to the WWE Performance Center, the same venue as every Raw, SmackDown, and NXT since March 11th. Oof. I hope they can get creative and build a set extension or something, though, so it doesn't look like all the other shows. For anybody curious, the attendance records for smallest WWE house for a mania belong to the Rosemont Horizon in Chicago of 9,000 people all the way back at WrestleMania 2. Although if you're not counting the three venue event, the record belongs to WrestleMania 7 because of course it does. So this means there will be zero in the crowd this year. Although there is still hope that they can pad the show with unbooked wrestlers, developmentals, crew, friends, family, because it's just gonna be too insane to see a show of shows with no crowd whatsoever. The good news is that fans still have three weeks to cancel their tickets, hotel, flights, get as much refunded as possible, and that they can still see the major storylines of the last few months pan out on the WWE Network. Which, I expect will get a hell of a spike in subscribers, even if they're going to just unsubscribe on Monday the 6th. All that drama over some insurance money, can you believe it? At least the WWE now knows that they have to put on one hell of an incredible show if fans are going to keep committed, because it won't be about atmosphere or wild crowds this time. Oh, and if you're still upset and declaring, it's just a flu, people need to calm down, I refer you to my first video. I have to say, shut the fuck up. I'm just happy the fans, performers, staff, they all have a chance to stay healthy and slow the spread of the coronavirus, because the reality of it is that we are probably going to catch this bug. A lot of people will. But as long as we don't all catch it at the same time, then there's hope for those in the medical field to be able to keep up and keep people alive. Alright, so now we know. WrestleMania in front of zero people. Just as if TNA was hosting it. This is gonna be a weird one. I'm not even sure it's set in my mind yet. And while I joke around about it, I do want to know, how do you feel? Is it going to be weird not hearing the British soccer chants? Or seeing 80,000 people erupt at the end of the WWE Championship match? What about the wild Raw After Mania party? That thing's a tradition on its own. Let me know what you think in the comments. For now though, I better get my shoulders off the mat, so thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.